guy performs all over the country. He's a regular here at the Comedy Works. Please welcome Ron Ferguson. Yeah. One more time, your MC Phil Porter right there. How about that? Sweet. Oh, I love Denver, Colorado. What I love about Denver is that everybody profiles me here. Everyone thinks I'm Spanish, right? Everyone thinks I speak Spanish, too. My name's Ron Ferguson, because I'm adopted by some crackers, okay? And, and, I, and I'm adopted from an orphanage, so I don't know my ethnicity. I could be Native American, I could be Latino, I don't know and I don't care. Just give me the scholarship. So, so, it's funny. But everyone profiles me. As at McDonald's, this guy walks up to me, he's like, hey, que pasa? I'm like, what? He's like, ¿Qué pasa? Habla español. I'm like, no, I speak English, moron. <laughs> America. <laughs> yeah. He's like, pichi pideo, ¿qué pasa? I'm like, screw it, I ain't working the register anymore. You know, it's like... Oh, back to Wendy's where I'm appreciated for my English. <laughs> so, so. I, I never graduated high school, but I recently went to my GED class reunion. And, uh, and, so, uh, those were the hours. It's uh, so good times. There's tons of Latinos everywhere. I mean, let's talk about Walmart for a minute, okay, guys? Because, wow. Need to rename that place to Walmartinez. I saw a bum there one time. He didn't even have a shopping cart. He just had one of those handheld baskets. <laughs> I'm like, hey, buddy, where's your shopping cart? He's like, screw you, it's my first day. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I love hanging out with my old man. My dad's funny. The other day, we're at the eye doctor, and he reads an eye chart like he's on the Wheel of Fortune. He's like, is there a C? <laughs> I need my driver's license. I'll buy an A. How much... <laughs> Uh, my dad's always trying to be funny. I remember when I was little for Halloween, he dressed me up as a ghost. Just threw a sheet over me, right? Problem was, he used the sheets from my bed. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a bedwetter, right? <laughs> so now I'm Casper, the psoriasis ghost. You know, like, drink, drink, smell my sheet. Yes. Halloween was crazy because my dad would always, you know, you know how parents spell things so the kids don't understand what they're saying. My dad would always mess that up. He's like, hey, we better hide the C I N D Y. <laughs> my mom's like, who the hell's Cindy? Trying to date this girl Brandy for a while, getting back in the dating scene, right? And now she's playing hard to get, you know, with this restraining order. And I'm like, whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't care about that. I moved in with my last girlfriend, right? When I moved in with her, she was materialistic. She wanted all the stuff her friends had, like food, electricity. I was like, I'm not a millionaire, you know? Then she like, went me, went, sent, sent me for job searching. And the best job I've ever had, house sitting. I made tons of money house sitting. Like the first day I made like, like $3,000 after the garage sale. So I was like, that's a good job. Then I do laundry. And you know how if you do laundry, you find a dollar, dollar in a pair of pants, you keep the dollar. Now from, uh, from now on, I'm just washing girls' purses. So that's gonna work out great, just like that joke. But she always wants me to buy her stuff, right? She wanted me to get her a tattoo one time in the small of her back, which isn't that small. 
A $60 butterfly turns into a $390 pterodactyl. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> That's a lot of trips to Coinstar. You know what? <laughs> And to show my love, she wanted me to get her name tattooed on my butt. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'll do something less permanent, like get married. Because <laughs> tattoos are forever, you know what I mean, guys? <laughs> she got mad at my last birthday because I, I asked my friends to get a stripper to pop out of a cake. My crazy friends, instead, they got a fat stripper eating her way out of the cake. <laughs> Frosting all over her face. Happy birthday, Ronnie. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing, Mom? <laughs> She's like, I'm filling in for C-I-N-D-Y. I used to like going to nude bars, you know, strip bars, until I realized going to a strip bar is like locking your keys in your car, right? Because <laughs> you can see them, they're right there, right? <laughs> you just can't get to them, right? <laughs> so you're working a Slim Jim for a half hour mad about it, you're like, I don't know how to get <laughs> That's my time, folks. I'm Ron Ferguson. Good night. Ferguson, keep it going for him. Not Ferguson. <laughs>